All right guys, what is up? Welcome to the video. I am back and I have returned to the Apache Death Cave once again. I'm all by myself, completely alone, and we're gonna go down in this hole by ourselves. Let's go right in there. All right guys, so I took it upon myself to come back to the Apache Death Cave and check it out by myself. It's very creepy. I don't know if you could see that super scary hole down there by myself. And I hope my light still works. But we're gonna walk down in here and see if uh, we can't get any answers using ghost tube. Now, oh, this looks treacherous. I gotta turn the camera around so I can kind of watch where I'm going, but. So you guys can see as well. we'll walk down here. Now, I do have another little camera that I got. It's around my neck, it's on my necklace. And it also has night vision, so we'll see what that catches. Okay, this is the sketchy part. Uh, oh shit, try not to fall. Oh, that's a, that's a bad fall if I do, but I think I got it. So I really wish that this bridge that they used to have isn't destroyed like it is because apparently it used to have these planks all the way down so you could just walk down in here. But it doesn't so it's a little sketchy. So now we come down in here and the scary part, going down into that hole. You know what, before I do that, I'm gonna fire up ghost tube and just let it play in the background so we can see if we can get any info on any spirits if there is spirits still lingering around here. So... All right, now, just switch it over. All right, we got ghost tube running. Turn up the volume on that. And we'll just go inside and see what we can find. I'm gonna put this in my pocket real quick. Turn you guys around, I'm gonna turn my light on. Turn it up on high. And in we go. Hello, hello. Now, I really hope that there's not any animals in here. Because that would really suck as I don't have any weapons or anything to protect myself with. So, yeah. Oh. Terry. Oh, that scared me. What did it say, Terry? Yeah, it said Terry. Okay. Hello, Terry. Were you one of the natives that perished in this cave by any chance? Oh, America. Like America? All right. <laughs> so Terry and America. Let me switch this over real quick. Get this out. So are you from America, Terry, or not? Uh, this is creepy. So this is that little hole. I saw last time when I was here. I didn't get to go see what's in there. Never. Never. Okay. Please don't let anything be in here when I check. Hello. All right. Thankfully there's nothing here. Ugh. Karma. Karma, never. So, apparently, there was, oh shit, I gotta watch where I'm stepping. So, oh, you can see right into there, to this top. I like that there's light coming out the bottom over there. That's scary as shit. I wonder what's, is there like another cave down in here? 
Oh, there is. Yeah, I'm not going under there. Those rocks scare me. So, Terry, the story about this cave is that there was some Apaches that came through here. Nine. Nine. Is that how many that came through here originally? But that they had kidnapped three Navajo women and brought them down this cave and apparently raped and murdered them. Now, that's a tragic way to go. And the story is that uh, the Navajos ended up finding the Apaches in here, tried to make a deal with them, and ended up finding out, oh, it's so creepy, scary in here. Kind of want to see what's in there, but this is a big room back here. So, story is that they found the, the Apaches in here, made a deal, and they found that the Apache or the Navajo women were were missing so they were questioning about it and there was hesitation and so they cheating cheating what do you mean by cheating can you explain that to me oh it's creepy in here by myself Are you saying I'm cheating by talking to you? Using this device? Because this is how we communicate with you and with each other. This device gives me the opportunity to speak with you. And I just want to know the truth. That's it. I'm not sure how. You're not sure how what? How to speak with me? because you're doing really well. Oh, the ceiling is very low. Like, look, I don't know if you guys, it's, it's very low. And it's, it's creepy in here, for sure. And that light's bright, oh my God. But so this area, this is another big room that I'm in right now. But this is where it continues to go and it gets very narrow and very skinny, which I think just after through there, it just kind of stops. And I'm not, I'm skinny, I'm not that skinny. I'm not gonna try to go down in there. So, but uh, oh. It's like a weird, musty, heavy smell in here. Like, I mean, not smell, but like a feeling. So, this is the room that uh, I feel the weirdest in. I don't know if it's because of the very low ceilings or because I'm like very far in the back. Not entirely sure. But. You know what, I'm gonna sit in here for a minute. I'm gonna sit this right here. Now, if you would like to communicate with me and tell me more about this, hey, pentagram, well, pentacle. If you wanna tell me more of the history in here while I'm in here, I would greatly appreciate it. If there's anything you would like to say, or if you would like to sit next to me, this device right here will give you the opportunity to communicate as you have been doing already. So, not gonna lie guys, it's like a very musty smell in here, but it's very heavy feeling, like, 
the ceiling's very low, you know, very low. And it just kind of feels did. like... Did. Did what? What did you do? So... Yeah, I'm feeling a little strange in here by myself because, you know, it's creepy in a cave for sure. Um, but I decided to come back for you guys because last time I tried to come down here, my battery died and I was unable to... Sorry, I, was, I thought I heard a noise. Um, I was unable to come down here because my battery for my light and my camera died, so I was completely unable to do anything. And when I did come down here, all I had was my cell phone, so I was very low on battery on that, so I was unable to do it. So, you know, this time I decided to come back and spend a little time in this cave. Why did you come? Why did I come? Well, I came because I want to know more about what happened here. Um, can you give me a name of somebody who perished down here? Anybody? Or even... Invisible. Yeah. You are invisible because I cannot see you. There is absolutely nobody else in here. Can you maybe, can you maybe make a noise? Maybe toss a rock, knock on a wall, something like that? It's very quiet down in here. So if I were to hear a noise, it would probably startle me. There's nothing behind me. I keep feeling like there's something down there, but there's not. It's crazy how like the walls kind of go at like a, you know, it's like one of those optical illusion things. So, like I said, I'm here because I want to know more. I want to understand. Are you in this room with me? It's weird because I'm right in the middle and there's this star right there. Roof. Roof. Are you on the roof? Or are you saying something about the roof? The roof is very low. Are you above me? Take a walk real quick. Come back in this other room over here. Are you up there anywhere? Turn it off. Turn it off? Why? I do not wish to turn it off. Can you see me? At all? Why do you want me to turn it off? Do you want me to stop recording? Or do you not want to talk to me? Made you look. Yeah, you did. Man, it's always gotta be somebody that just paints on shit. Can't ever just leave it alone. Like, I get it. I get it, you want to make your mark, but come on, guys. Like, this is a really cool cave. Okay, there's a lot of feet prints here. They're not mine. But it is like a big cave, so people have been here. I'm gonna come up here real quick, check out what's in this. I'm gonna put the ghost tube back. The fuck was that? Oh, it's a cricket, okay. 
freaked me out. Let's come see what's in here. Dead, or glad. I think it said dead at one point. Let's come back up here. Please don't let any animals be up here. All right, that's kind of cool. I like how it's like a old chair. wall. Chair. Is this your chair? Are you telling me to sit down? Ugh. It's really creepy looking down in this cave though. Like the farther you look down in there, it's just snake. Snake. There better not be no snakes. Or are you saying that that somebody was a snake? So I'm trying to read this. It says something that something that kills. Looks that kill. Okay. That was my stomach. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna head out now. Um, but if there's anything you would like to tell me before I go, I would greatly appreciate it. It's trippy how there's like a pull-up bar. I mean, that's it's not what it is, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Is there anything else you would like to say before I leave? I just say teeth. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. I greatly appreciate you talking with me. Bloody. Bloody. Was it very? It would be bloody down here because of the uh, killings that happened. I'm gonna come back through here. Ugh, I'm trying not to eat shit. Come back down through this little spot where the tumbleweed is at. So I'm unsure if this was made for the apparent two guns attraction that was up there with like all the zoos and stuff like that. Or if there's these ruins down here were made before that. Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys know about this area more than I do. Um, let me know down in the comments about, you know, more of the please history of, the, please come back. Were you back in the back? Please come back. So this is the uh, top. So there is skylights, which is cool. It's good to know that there's... Please come back. Are you gonna talk to me more if I come back there? Huh, nothing. Yeah, this is very strange. But like I was saying, if you guys have been here to Two Guns, or if you guys, you know, if you guys are native to the land and you know more about this history of this place, please let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know a lot more of this place. I know that it was... The fuck was that? Was that you? Did you throw something? Real quick, I just wanted to say that that clip that you just saw was probably one of the most creepiest moments that I had while down in this cave. I heard three consecutive knocks coming from down in the back of the cave, down in the darkness where it had just recently told me to please come back. I'm gonna play that clip again for you guys. I'm gonna boost the audio a little bit so you guys can hear what I'm talking about, but uh, it was scary, so. 
here's that clip real quick for you guys. I know that it was... The fuck was that? As you guys know, if you guys follow any of the paranormal things, you know that three knocks is usually the mocking of the Holy Trinity. Also, it's a way for demons or spirits to get your attention to lead you to where they want you to be. Now, I'm going to say that that clip was definitely really scary for me and just I'm getting chills just talking about it because that moment scared the shit out of me. With all that, if you guys hear or see anything throughout the rest of this video, please let me know down in the comments because during editing I will miss some stuff because it would greatly help me into understanding what I was dealing with down in this cave. So, you know, with that said, I'm going to just stop talking, let you guys get back right into the video. I just heard what sounded like... What sounded like this. Okay, maybe it didn't sound like that. But it sounded like something was like thrown back there. Huh. Oh well. But anyways, I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna check out the rest of the ruins. Um, I know in my last video I showed you some of them, but it was getting to be dark and it was rainy. What did it say? Are you from here? I am. Well, I'm from Arizona. I'm not from... Flagstaff for two guns. Where are you from? Can you tell me that? What date is it? What date is it? It is September 9th of 2023. Can you tell me where you're from? Where is this? Oh, piece of glass. So you're communicating, which is really nice. I gotta keep my eye over there, just in case somebody else comes through. I don't want to startle them, and I don't want to be startled. I hear people, though. So maybe I should probably dip out here soon. Hell. Hell. Hell, yeah. Well, this would be hell to someone who uh, was killed down here. I don't know, like I feel like I should go back, but I don't really want to. But you're communicating right here. Pieces of metal. Why are you here? You asked me that earlier. I uh, I'm here because I want to know more about this cave. I want answers. Can you tell me why you are here? Why you're still lingering? At all? Anything? I like that symbol that's up there. It's really cool. Camp. It's funny because that's how it was spelt on the old sign because it was a KOA at one point. That's how it was spelled. All right, so I'm going to leave. I might be back. Might not. But I appreciate you communicating with me. I'm going to go check out the rest of this place. But before I do leave, would you like to tell me one more thing before I go? That's it. Just one more. That's all you'd have to do. 
I'm just standing in the, the skylight because it's creepy down in the dark way. Very creepy. Alright, well, I'm leaving now, so thank you. I'm gonna make sure I don't eat shit coming out of here. Ugh, okay. Sorry for my weird grumbling sounds. That spot creeps me out. I really want to go down in there, but I don't at the same time. There might be something down in there. All right. I really like how this is made. Just say something. N E T O. Neato. I don't know. It's probably not what it says, but <laughs> it's funny. Oh, there's more of the wall here. All right. Well, dude, it just goes deep up there. Like it's scary. And oh, it does say Neato fix. All right. Cool. So let's make Terry. our way. Terry, weird. Weird. Terry. It said Terry the exact same spot where I'm standing when I came in. Okay, Terry. That's fucking weird. So yeah, not gonna lie, that is very weird. Right in this exact same spot where I'm standing, I was... Now it sounded like there was a moan from back there. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm leaving. Ow. Made noise. Oh yeah, you made a noise. Yeah, so... Okay. I had to get out of there. I was uh, getting kind of creeped out. Um... Oh shit, that was freaky. So just right there, it said Terry for the second time, which the first time I was walking in and it said Terry in the exact same spot, which is very weird, random and creepy. But just as I was down there, I heard like a uh, kind of moan coming from down there. I don't wanna go check that out. I don't wanna find out what made that noise. I probably should, but at this hidden. Hidden. Did it just say hidden? It did say hidden. Well, yeah. Whatever would make that moaning sound would be hidden, because I didn't see it down there. Um. But as I was walking out, got a little freaked out. Who are they? There is nobody here, except for me. Or are they talking about you guys? Can you guys see them? If so, welcome to the spirit realm. <laughs> but yeah, so as I was walking out, it said make a noise and it made a noise. I appreciate that. I'm glad it did. So I'm going to climb my way back out of here. Go check out the rest of this spot. Um. I know it wasn't a very short time inside the cave. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Australia. 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 Why would it say Australia? Did somebody from Australia die here? Like, recently? Anything? I'm gonna turn my light off. I don't need it on no more. I'm glad the light made it through time there because it's at like one bar <laughs> okay the wind's picking up so yeah I'm gonna get out of here so crawl back up here okay yeah make sure you don't fall through Something like scratching up here. Like as if someone.
somebody was moving and there's absolutely nobody out here. I don't like that. Yeah, there's nobody out here. No one. And where I was hearing it was like, right there. What is that? Is that a tile or a piece of metal? Yeah, so... We ended up coming to the cave, which is super cool. I'm glad that I was able to check it out alone this time. It is really creepy down in there, not gonna lie. But uh, you know, I'm gonna take you real quick. There's a couple of these ruins. Let's go up inside of there real quick. Go check those out. Somebody left their uh, nice little hiking boots. 11. That's pretty interesting. So yeah, that's, that's the cave right down there. But let's walk up here real quick. Very nice views out here. Most definitely very nice views. But this is kind of cool because it's like I I don't know what it was. And it looks like the the ground just completely crumbled, so yeah, I don't think there's a way over there unless I climb down. I'm not gonna climb down there. Yeah, because I'm gonna fall. <laughs> But this is cool because it's got the backdrop of all the greenery and all that. And so there's the bridge right back there. And there's like more ruins and then more of them way over there. And there's the area that had like mountain lions and stuff over there. That was part of the zoo. What did this just say? I want one. It told me I want one. What do you want? Do you want a mountain lion? Is that, is that what you're asking? If so, I'm pretty sure there's some out here. Let's come up here, check out this area. I actually forgot that I had ghost tube running. So, there's a lot of this place out here. It's very broken down right next to the freeway and that freeway was actually the reason why this place got shut down they call it uh death by highway or some shit like that let's come into here ah now you can hopefully hear me a little better without the traffic and all that but this is kind of a cool little little spot pentagram on the ground which as you guys know I like that shit. Be cool to do like a little ritual or a seance in here. See exactly what you could get. Oh look, a pig. A pig. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dumb. It's alright. But this is actually a really nice sound structure. Oh, there's tons of writing and carving in here. Road trip of 22. E. Doty, Bree. Eh, what happens at these landmarks, you know, people get their names carved in shit. Not gonna lie, I've done that a few times. <laughs> but, oh, it says Queef on the wall. Queef. It's always an amazing thing when people write goofy shit on walls. But, anyways, there's more stuff up this way like kind of farther up out this window there is the original like koa and truck stop and all that i don't know if i could zoom in but, like let's see it back there that's where the original like gas station stuff was and then there's like original koa buildings over here which there's like a pool and stuff over there which is pretty cool Turn this back. But yeah, so I'm gonna set this up here real quick just so I can get my hands free. But I'm really glad I could come back out here and show you guys the death cave, you know, by myself. It's very creepy. And I like that 
I was able to use Ghost Tube while I was down there because last time I didn't and I really want to know the history of this place but yeah I want to know more about this place and sorry I'm saying and I thought I saw somebody walking up there. It was kind of funny, but it's it's a tree. <laughs> There's no one there. It's a tree. So, but anyways, I'm going to go off. I'm going to venture off, go check out some of these ruins. And uh, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So, you know what? I'll get back with you guys when I get over there. Peace. All right, guys. You know what? I decided, fuck it. I'm not leaving yet. I'm going to go back inside this cave and... We're going to spend some more time with these spirits, see if we can't get any more answers. So you know what? Let's head back in. I felt that when I was right here, I got that name Terry twice. Now I'm going to turn Ghost Tube back on. And we are going to head in. All right. Shit, let me turn the light back on. All right, Terry. I am back if you want to speak. I think I left a little- I can't. You can't? Why can't you speak now, Terry? Is there a reason? Is there a reason you can't speak anymore? Sorry guys, I'm walking around on these rocks here. It's a little wobbly. <laughs> but uh... Real quick, sit that there. It's just creepy looking. So Terry, is there anybody inside this hole? Okay, so since I've decided to come back, would you like to communicate with me more? This is the area where you were communicating with me before I left, and you did say please come back, so I took a minute and decided I'll be back. I'll come back. So. I'm back if you would like to talk. What should I do? Anything. You should talk to me, tell me your story. What shit, I keep falling on stuff. If you could maybe make a noise for me. Earlier I heard a moan in here, just as I was leaving. Can you maybe move a rock? Knock on a wall? Anything? So, you said please come back. Now who was asking? I got a name Terry. Is that who I'm speaking with is Terry? If so, are you male or female? How are you? I am okay. A little creeped out being in here alone again. How are you? Can you tell me what it's like being stuck in here? God, 
I keep hitting my head on this ceiling. Fuck. I must get shit off that. Ah. <sighs> Real quick, I don't like being down here. I don't, not gonna lie. Why is she here? Why is she here? Who is she? Are you calling me a she because I have long hair? If so, I'm a guy. I will. That's what I'm here for. Is there anything you would like to talk with me about? Why you're still here? What your purpose is? Can you tell me anything about yourself? Maybe give me a name? I know that I was speaking to somebody named Terry. It's really quiet. Married. Married? Were you married? Are you married to Terry or... A little creepy hole. Uh, not gonna lie guys, I'm I'm feeling very scared in here Like That's why I wanted to leave earlier. I felt just a very heavy feeling I keep hearing squishing and I know it's just my feet because it's very squishy in here very wet and damp I'm gonna leave again. I'm sorry. Keep hearing something back there. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna sit this right here real quick just for a second. Let me move this so I could see. I get like a very heavy feeling when I'm back there. Pray. Pray. I'm sorry I'm not gonna do that. I'm not religious, so I don't pray. It's very creepy down in here. Now, you said you wanted me to come back. I'm back. I don't want to be back in there though. I like being in this light right here. Not gonna lie guys, I'm, I shouldn't be this scared about being here alone. It's really not that that deep in there. It's actually not severely long of a cave. But for some reason, I'm just severely terrified when I go back in that very back room. Like, I feel like just this heavy energy all around me. But if, at the same time, I feel safe here in this light. But it's like down in that darkness, I don't feel it. I feel, I guess the reason is, is because it's lit up here. I feel safer here. In danger. In danger. 
Can you tell me why I'm in danger? Or are you in danger? I keep feeling somebody's right there. Can you can you tell me if somebody's there? <laughs> like I just have this suspicion that my eyes are playing tricks on me. Every time I look down there, I see something and I know there's nothing there. I don't know, there could be something. I don't know. You're not speaking to me anymore. Is there a reason why? Here, I'm gonna grab the camera real quick. It's, uh, I don't like being in here. I'm not gonna lie. It's very scary. But I wanted to come down and get more answers because it seemed like as I was leaving and I got right here where I'm at and it said, you know, please come back. So I came back, but it's not talking. Not sure. And my phone battery's dying, so you know, that's never a good thing. I don't know. Well, I tried guys. I'm gonna head back out because I don't like being in here. So yeah. I'm gonna keep Ghost Tube running though. Because it seems right here I got the name Terry. Twice. I always feel really creeped out about that little hole. Terry, are you here? Can you uh can you acknowledge me right now? Any chance? Any chance whatsoever? Huh. Nothing. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> I know I wanted to go back down in there and do chased. a little bit. Chased. It said chased. That's how I felt. Like I felt like I'm being chased out. Almost like that's how I felt earlier. That's why I left really quickly. That's how I'm feeling now. Like I need to just be chased out. I kept getting this fear feeling while I was down in there. Like it wasn't my fear, but it was like an energy of fear it was like based on the story that there was tons of people just kind of killed and murdered down in that cave it's almost like they were fighting their way to get out and there's a fear of dying and that's kind of the fear I felt and so I decided to climb out of the hole and kind of get myself situated to a point to where I was you know safe and so I'm sitting here in my car just chilling out um but I just wanted to come out here and do the Apache death cave for you guys once again so I'm glad to see you guys again glad to be back out exploring share this video give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not because I've got a lot of cool videos there and I'm hoping to have a lot more coming out so until next time I'll see you guys in the next video peace